The absolute value of a number can be thought of as the value of the number without regard to its sign. For example, the absolute value of 2 is 2 because it is two steps away from 0 on the number line. Likewise, the absolute value of a negative 7 is 7. When plotted on a number line, its distance from 0 is 7. We use the absolute value when subtracting a positive number and a negative number. Subtract one number from the other and give the result of the sign of the number that has the greater absolute value. 2 minus 9 is a negative 7 because the difference between 9 and 2 is 7 and negative 9 has the larger absolute value, making the result negative. So what does the graph of y equals the absolute value of x look like? Let's put some points in. If x is a negative 3, the absolute value of a negative 3 is 3. When x is a negative 2, y becomes 2. When x is a negative 1, the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. When x is 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. When x is a positive 1, absolute value of positive 1 is 1, so y is 1. So when x is 2, y is 2. And when x is 3, y is 3. Plotting that on the graph, when x is a negative 3, y is a positive 3. When x is negative 2, y is a positive 2, and so forth. Comes down to 0, 0. And then goes back up. And continues on in both directions. An absolute value function can be used to show how much a value deviates from the norm. The average internal body temperature of humans is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So how do you know if you have a fever? The temperature can vary by as much as 5 tenths of a degree and still be considered normal. So on a number line, that temperature can range between 98.1 degrees and 99.1 degrees without being outside of the norm. As a function, the equation is y equals the absolute value of x minus 98.6. The x-axis corresponds to the temperature of the person in question. What does the y-axis represent? Let's make some slight changes to this graph. To graph the equation, we'll substitute various values in for x and plot the points. When x is 98.6, y is 0. When x is 98.7, y is 0 0.1. When x is 98.8, 98.6 minus 98.8 is negative 0.2, so y is 0.2. When x is 98.5, y is 0.1. When x is 98.4, y is 0.2. So you can see that y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 98.6 is going to look like an absolute value graph that we graphed earlier, just shifted a long ways to the right. To limit it to where it, we're in a normal temperature range, we need to limit the y value or the range to be between 0 and 0.5. Minivans, due to their size, weight, and purpose, are not typically very fuel efficient vehicles. Based on what you now know about the absolute value function, can you write an equation that describes the van's estimated city miles per gallon fuel usage? And what would its graph look like? Since the city MPG is 17, 
y equals the absolute value of x minus 17 will be our function. The range of values goes from 14 to 20, so we'll have to limit y to 0 to 3. So here's the graph of y equals the absolute value of x minus 17. Anything above 20 miles per gallon for city driving indicates the van is more efficient than expected. Anything below 14 miles per gallon points to a less fuel efficient vehicle. If enough claims are made that a maker model is not as efficient as reported, an investigation can occur which may result in revised ratings.